Hi, this is Sandy Kirby. I'm coordinator of career services here at Cleveland State. And I'm gonna take a couple of minutes to walk you through how to access our Cleveland State Focus to Career Assessment. So this is a free tool for our students to use, for all students. It definitely helps you look at different careers and especially for those that are still kind of undecided, not sure what you wanna do. This is a perfect way for you to get some ideas of careers and majors that are best for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off on our main Cleveland State homepage, as you will see here, clevelandstatecc.edu. And you're gonna scroll down just a teeny tiny bit until you see these three boxes. You're gonna click on the Get Advice option. And it's gonna go ahead and take you to our career counseling page. Um, I get just a second here. Okay, perfect. There we go. So we're on our career counseling page. And what this information is, is it kind of gives you an overview about the focus to career assessment. You're gonna keep scrolling until you see this blue box and it's gonna say, go to focus to now. You're gonna click there. Now, of course, I'm on this website all the time. So, and I've definitely wanted to save my information so I can easily forget all the usernames and passwords. And my information's already in here, but of course, for a student, you probably have not been on this before, okay? So you're gonna see this little button here to register. And this is just where you're, you're gonna create your own account. So you will click on that register button. And what it's gonna do is bring you to the page to put in your personal information, okay? Your name, um, kind of pick out a username and a password that you would like to do. But the first box you're gonna see is asking you for an access code. And that is going to be the word Cougar. Now this just helps, um, it kind of links you to our majors and our programs that we have here at Cleveland State. So just by typing in that word kind of connects you with Cleveland State information, okay? So you'll go ahead and complete your name. Again, anything that's asterisk, create a username and a password, and just make sure you kind of follow these guidelines here of how you need to create that password. It'll be a little tricky. It's gonna ask you for your year of graduation. And now this is gonna be basically a forecasted graduation year of here at Cleveland State. So if you think you're gonna be here one year or, or two years, then you'll kind of pick which one of those is the best option to what you're, you're thinking. Um, whichever one of those years is best for you is completely fine. It's also gonna ask you if you have already decided on your college major. You're gonna be able to put yes or no there. The next thing is it's gonna make sure um, that you click you know, the little box there, the whole disclaimer information, and then you're gonna click continue. So I'm actually gonna go, go back and, um, cause again, I already have a create, created account right there. And so I'm gonna log in, but you will um, click continue on that previous slide. If it is making you fix anything, you know, on how you register, then it's gonna tell you, right there, you know, did you do your password wrong, etc. cetera. Uh, at the end of when you're registering, you're, you wanna come to this page right here, okay? It's gonna have our Cleveland State up here, and it's gonna have welcome, and of course your name, not, not me. And you're gonna see all of these different options. There's some self-assessments right here, um, a whole lot of information just when you first are able to access the, the main site here for our, our Focus 2 platform. But what we're gonna talk about today is just doing our career assessments, okay? So we always really strongly suggest to do these two career assessments, the work interest one and the personality one, which is really actually pretty fun. What you're gonna do, you can do either one first, whichever one but I, I went back and cleared out information that was in my 
work interest one so I can show you guys. So this will be what you'll, your screen will look like and you're gonna press the start button there, okay? And then it's gonna start asking you these really simple questions. To what degree would you enjoy? Um, not at all, up to very, very, you know, high. You would definitely wanna do something as far as one of these things that it's asking you to. I try to tell students, you know, as much as you can, lean one way or the other, okay? So for me, designing graphic art images and illustrations, um, yeah, I mean, that one, I might could do that. So you'll go through here and what you'll end up seeing is there'll be a, a blue bar that will come up here and it just shows that you're almost done with those questions. It might take you five or six minutes just to go through these, but take your time and, and really look at these questions and, and don't fly through it, okay? Because then you're gonna get results that, that are not gonna be applicable to what you wanna do. But every time you answer the page, you're just gonna click continue and it's gonna, um, it's gonna you know, be able to pinpoint you into uh, some different results, okay? So what we're gonna do is, even though I'm in this personality one, I'm gonna click at my results, just to kind of show you guys, it's gonna be the same format for the work interest one. So what happens when you complete those work interest questions, it's gonna bring up some different occupations that you wanna do. Same thing, go back and take this personality one, and again, it's, it's very interesting to take. But what I want to show you while I'm doing this quick video is what happens when you get those results, okay? Pay attention to this filter results option. So, because there's a lot, look at my little bar here. There's a lot of occupations that it's, it's giving me, um, that it's listing, okay? Well, I don't, uh, that's a little overwhelming. <laughs> so make sure you look at this filter results. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, I want to take off those certificates. You know, maybe I'm just not really, um, I'm looking for something a little bit more than a certificate. I'm going to take off that advanced degree, you know, really. Um, and maybe just leave the associate's degree and bachelor's degree. So, and you know, all of these could be different for you. You might wanna leave all of them checked or you might only wanna check certificates. It's completely up, or you might be wanting to, you know, get an advanced degree and you know that's what you wanna do and you can only keep that one checked. But, you know, try to narrow down some of these options. And then of course, right now, it's, it's gonna be sorted by alphabetical order. And I highly suggest you click on here and look at job family. You know, so Cleveland State talks a lot about career communities. And that's the same thing here, a, a job family. So I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna update my result, okay? And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna start listing in alphabetical order the job family. So it kind of helps me, you know, see, well, do I have a lot of interest maybe in arts and entertainment and sports and media because it's pulling up a lot you know here's some business and finance maybe business is something i want to get into overall it just helps you look at these different options based based a little bit more on our career communities okay the next thing i want to show you is let's look at this financial aid counselor so it's got a son dial right there and that just means that this is a really in-demand occupation okay we, we definitely need some financial aid counselors there but what i want to tell you is you know make sure you're you're looking at these so you can click on that financial aid counselor and it's going to give you every bit of information you need to know about that occupation so take some time to look at it to figure out why it kind of connected you to that occupation. Um, what kind of education requirements do you need if that's something you're, you're really interested in doing? What kind of majors, you know, and minors when you go to a four-year university can you look at? You can find um, 
employment opportunities and you can see how much those people are earning. So there's a lot of information on here, um, whatever you can get on and look at just to give you, give you an idea. The last thing I wanna quickly explain to you is here at the bottom, um, you're gonna see these options, okay? One of the favorite things for students is to come in and say, what can I do if I majored in? I'm gonna say no, thank you, I'm okay with that. Uh, and then you're gonna be able to type in. So say you're here and it's got, it's got CAD. No, that's just gonna be, and for those that you don't, haven't heard of that little acronym, it's Computer Aided Drafting, and that's a very good program to get into. But you can search, you know, what major you're wanting to get in, and um, it's gonna locate that major and give you some different ideas, okay, of the different things you can do. Lots and lots of information on here. The main thing is just make sure you go in and take those two assessments. You can take more, and um, it's not gonna hurt you, but make sure you get in and take this work interest and your personality assessment and, and really look, you know, take a couple of minutes just to see what, what it's pulling up for you and see what other options, you know, exploring anything. Um, and that's going to be able to help you more than kind of not knowing what's going on. So wanted to make sure I showed you guys that. Also, of course, if you have questions, um, you can reach out to me. I'll put my email address in, you know, kind of the information for this video. But again, my name's Sandy Kirby. My email address is skirby03 at clevelandstatecc.edu. Or you can reach me by just um, giving me a phone call. That's going to be 423-456-2288. Thank you.